As season number two continues on for Isaiah, he's now on the Green Bay Packers. Eddie Lacy hit free agency. Tom Brady retired. Isaiah wasn't happy with New England, so they released him, and Isaiah took his talents to the state of Wisconsin as he is now a member of the Green Bay Packers. Now he's getting the squad hyped up for today's ball game. And if you guys are hyped for this episode, let's hit 500 likes on today's video and make sure to subscribe because I have plenty more episodes coming after this as well as more features for franchise and ultimate team. Now Isaiah hurdles a defender on that play, somehow doesn't fumble the ball. This dude takes so many risks. Sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. You guys have all seen Isaiah fumble a ton. But here in season number two, we're trying to stay under five fumbles for the entire season. That's the goal. Last year, I think we were around eight. But wait, what is Isaiah doing? The ball hits him in the helmet. He still holds on to it. And he gets the first down. If you guys remember in season number one, he had a ball hit his helmet when he played for the Patriots. The ball ended up getting intercepted, returned down, I believe, for a touchdown. But Isaiah shows improved awareness here in season number two as he hauls in that ball for a first down. And a big play here by Devontae Adams. He gets down inside the five on that play. And when you're here in the goal line, what do you do? You give the ball to Isaiah King. He is one of the fastest running backs in the league. In my opinion, I think he's the fastest. The only guy that may be faster at the running back position could be Jamal Charles. But you guys let me know in the comments below. Is Isaiah the fastest running back, or is he not? And if someone is faster than him, you let me know in the comments below who that actually is. Now, a good play there by Aaron Rodgers. We get Isaiah the ball in a halfback stretch. Isaiah's got plenty of room, and what a great block by number 78. Isaiah is off to the races, and he's into the end zone. And it wouldn't be an Isaiah King touchdown unless that dude celebrated. So he pumps up the crowd, a 52-yarder, and Detroit has turned the ball over. So now we have the rock again. Aaron Rodgers here in the red zone. Isaiah's out on the sideline. Ryder steps up in the pocket, throws it, he finds Devontae Adams who runs out of the end zone and then back in to get a huge touchdown. His first receiving touchdown of the day and things are looking good for Green Bay. If you guys remember in free agency, the Detroit Lions were trying to court Isaiah. Isaiah thought about it for a brief moment but he thought better and ended up taking his talents to Green Bay and it's proving to pay off. Now Isaiah here in a punt return, makes a little bit of a move there as we end the second quarter. Probably a decent move, could have done better but we're going to halftime with a 21-3 lead. Isaiah is cooking. Aaron Rodgers is cooking. Let's hope we can keep it going here in the second half. And Rodgers drops back. He throws a dime right here to Devontae Adams. What a beautiful throw. I mean, I love Tom Brady and everything, but I don't think at his old age last season, he was making throws like that. Aaron Rodgers is showing that he's the best quarterback in the league, and I think, in my opinion, he might have the best running back in the league on his team in Isaiah King. And we're already over 100 yards here in the third quarter. Isaiah's going to try and throw a crucial block here. Aaron Rodgers gets it deep. Unfortunately, though, that's out of bounds on second and 10. Not the play that we wanted to, so we have to kick a field goal here as Isaiah talks to Aaron Rodgers right after. Now, fourth and nine, Detroit's going to punt the ball deep. Third quarter is coming to a close. This one's going to land at the five, and Isaiah's going to field that one deep in his own territory. He's off to the races. Isaiah's putting on the speed burners. One guy's close. He's going to miss. Isaiah's got one guy in front of him. Looks like an offensive lineman, and he is not going to catch him. Isaiah King goes in for a huge punt return. I believe that's 90 five yards in the play excuse me 93 yards on that play still incredible still ridiculous but here in the fourth quarter Isaiah tries to run up the middle and he gets stuffed he only has 11 rushes on the day two touchdowns though on 101 yards that's a crazy average and things are looking good and Rodgers throws one to the sideline Isaiah barely gets both feet in I'm glad he didn't overturn or try to challenge or overturn that one because I don't know if Isaiah did get both in but we'll take the referee's word for it now Montgomery hauls in a big ball here on the 16-yard line. Isaiah moves to the right-hand side. He's going deep to the end zone. The ball's thrown to the left-hand side instead, and it's going to be another touchdown for Aaron Rodgers. Look at this dime by Aaron Rodgers. Devontae Adams pushes out to the sideline. He turns up the field, gets his feet in, and it's another big touchdown for Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. So Jim Caldwell, I'm sorry about your luck today, old fella, but you're not going to get that win. It's a 38-10 victory for the Green Bay Packers and Isaiah King. Matt Stafford... I'm sorry, you didn't get Isaiah King, Aaron Rodgers did, and that is literally what happened. So Rodgers with 240 on the day, Isaiah with 123 in the ground, two rushing touchdowns, and then in the receiving game, you don't even see Isaiah's name on the top receiving list, which is kind of a first. Usually he's right up there, but look who we are playing today, the Seattle Seahawks, our arch nemesis, the team that we always struggle to defeat. I can't believe that Isaiah gets a chance to play against them. And maybe, you know, from what I heard in the grapevine is that Isaiah took this position with the Green Bay Packers because he wanted to make sure the Seattle Seahawks never made it to the Super Bowl again. He wants to make sure that they meet in the NFC Championship every year, that he's able to dominate and keep that team out of the Super Bowl. Because what happened to him, he never wants to see it happen again. Now, Seattle's up 7-0 here as we don't get that first down. Second and 10, Rodgers goes to a halfback screen to Isaiah. Isaiah's got plenty of room. Richard Sherman's going to miss. Isaiah tries to hurdle a defender, and that's Cam Chancellor. You do not try to hurdle Cam Chancellor because he's going to make you pay as he did there. Now, Isaiah tries to run the ball up here, and it's a big play by Seattle's defense as they stop Isaiah and force Green Bay to kick a field goal to make it 7-3. 
Now here in the second quarter, Isaiah's running. He's wide open down the middle. He's going to try to find his way down through Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor and hold him down. But not before Isaiah gets down to the 22-yard line. If we can get a score here, we're right back in this ballgame with the lead. Now a little play action here by Aaron Rodgers. He's in the pocket, throws one deep, and he's going to find Jordy Nelson. What a dime there by Aaron Rodgers. Look at the precision on that throw. 32 had no chance to catch up to him. Beautiful ball by Aaron Rodgers, and Isaiah is feeling pretty good. But look at this, Seattle has scored, so it's a 14-10 lead for Seattle. And oh, no, this ball's getting bobbled around. This ball's going in. Earl Thomas intercepts it. Isaiah's going to try to make the tackle. Earl Thomas jukes Isaiah. That looked incredible, difficult uh, to actually make that tackle. But Earl Thomas steps out of bounds, and things aren't really looking good because Seattle now has an 11-point lead, and your boy Isaiah's going to try and field this kick return and get some good field position. Isaiah bounces out to the left-hand side. He's going to break a tackle here. Can he get to the edge? Isaiah's going to try to fight his way through. He gets all the way down to the 38, nearly the 40-yard line. And we've got a chance to score. Here's the first half coming to a close. And look at Isaiah. What a move by Isaiah on Jeremy Lane. Earl Thomas can't catch him. Isaiah's going all the way into the end zone there. A huge play to get that touchdown before the half ends. We absolutely needed that as Seattle had a huge lead. But as we enter the third quarter, Seattle is up 28-17 as they score before the half is over. So we need Aaron Rodgers and company to put in a lot of work this half. Now Rodgers goes back to the halfback screen. He finds Isaiah. Crucial block in there on the edge. Look at Isaiah again trying to leap Earl Thomas. This man is going to get hurt if he doesn't try to stop hurdling people. We do get the first down though. We hold on to the ball, which is the most important thing. Now second and seven, Rodgers again dumps this one off to Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson, though, unfortunately gets stopped in front of the marker. So third and three, they hand the ball off to Isaiah, and look at all of this running room. Great blocking by the offensive line. Great blocking by Richard Rodgers, the tight end. And Isaiah gets into the end zone. Another huge rushing touchdown. This time only 38 yards, but it counts the same. We're only down four points now. But wait, we're going for a two-point conversion. So if we get this, things are good. Now Isaiah throws a crucial block, and Aaron Rodgers, what are you doing? What are you doing, Aaron Rodgers? You walk right into the defender, so we're down five, but then look at this. Seattle scores again. We're in trouble. So Aaron Rodgers finds a nice little check down pass there to get us a first down. Down 12 points with five minutes left. Isaiah goes to the edge, and no oh boy, the Seattle Seahawks, they're ready for these runs. So with 4.55 left, Isaiah's rolling out to the left. This time the ball's not going to him again on second and 11. And you got to be upset if you're Isaiah King because you have to feel like you're wide open there. We don't get the ball. We end up uh, forced to punt. And we're down huge again. It's 42 to 23 Seattle with only a minute 30 left. A lot of our teammates are giving up, but Isaiah says, you know what? Even if we lose this ball game, we're going out strong. We're going out with a fight. And look at that spin move. Isaiah is trying to get his teammates hyped up with the huge spin move on Earl Thomas. Now, with 45 seconds left, Isaiah is trying to go down the right-hand side again. He cuts back across the left. Aaron Rodgers is going to find him. Isaiah's got one guy in front of him. He doesn't try to jump over him for once. Thank God. And Isaiah gets the first down. With 25 seconds left, Isaiah moves around the left-hand side. This time it's a check down underneath. That's going to get us down to the seven-yard line. We're going to spike the ball. We have five seconds left. Can we get a touchdown just to have our dignity back? Isaiah floats to the middle, and Isaiah gets the touchdown. So while we get blown out, we get a huge loss today. Isaiah gets a moral victory as he gets another touchdown to add to his resume. Coach Mike McCarthy, I don't know what was up with his play calling on defense today, but we cannot give up 42 points and expect to win. Our offense was actually pretty good, but our defense was hot garbage this afternoon. Now, Rodgers has a really good day, but Russell Wilson stole the show, and as well as Thomas Rawls, who had 171 rushing yards in the day with two touchdowns, even outdoing Isaiah King. It's an unfortunate loss. This isn't the end of the season. We have plenty of work to do if we want to be NFC champions. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.